Miss Cleveland, you say your 18-month marriage is in jeopardy because your husband denies he's your son Hunter's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You have no doubts and you are desperate to prove he is the father and save your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Cleveland, you admit that your wife was unfaithful and you have good reason to doubt Hunter is yours. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, you have petitioned the court for a lie detector test for your wife to determine the extent of her infidelities. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Cleveland, what is the state of your marriage right now? Um, our marriage are, is currently on the rocks. We argue on the daily. I see him treating our son differently than he does his daughter, and it I, bothers me. I inside. try not to treat him any differently. I try to treat him like he's mine. You said you try to, Mr. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it, it's, it's a little hard sometimes. I'm not going to lie, Your Honor. I mean, there's that thought there that he is not mine, and that makes a person really emotionally upset. There are times that I'm holding him, and I look at him, and, you know, I don't see me in him, and I have to set him down and walk away because it's just... It, he it's is only one and a half years old. He has a whole life to grow and to <clears> get more features that resemble my husband. Yes, he does, but... He is so young. The handsome He can guy. grow to look like me, but I just, I don't see it. I see so many features, of it. I see so many features that aren't me. And so you just wonder. don't see yourself when you hold him. And this, I'm sure, is affecting him in some ways, but affecting your marriage as well. Yes, A Your lot. Honor, it is. How? Um, we fight all the time over everything. There's never a calm moment in our life. We're no, not. You said never a calm moment. No, ma'am, no, ma not. Well, that can't be good for you or the children. It's not. No. So you're constantly arguing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We try to stay away from each other as much as possible, so we Which don't argue. We really do. All That's... of this stems from this paternity doubt. Yes, ma'am. It has it literally does. permeated the fabric of your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. And it is does. destroying it. Yes. yes, Your Honor, it does. I mean, like she said, I feel like I'm living a lie, Your Honor. You know, I've been lied to and cheated on, you know. I feel, uh, Your Honor, I, I've I feel never like... cheated on him. Oh. I left him before I ever did anything with any other man. Uh, okay, so, so the text and everything behind my back isn't cheating. I consider that cheating. What are the texts behind your back? Like sexy messages, like, I miss you, I love you, you're so handsome. And you're right about that, you're right about Wait. that. But... Who are you sending those texts to? Um, your husband, I hope. No, because um, my husband didn't treat me like a husband. And I just, I feel no, unappreciated and unrespected. And so I, another man was giving me the respect and... So, sometimes, Your Honor, yes, yes, I do treat her less and I do treat her wrong sometimes, yes. And a lot of it does stem from, I mean, I feel like I'm living a lie, Your Honor. Why do you feel that way? I'm in a marriage. Uh, my wife's a cheater. I, I don't know if this little guy is mine or not. I mean, I feel like I I'm living I am not a, lie. a cheater. I didn't cheat on you. Who are you texting? He was an old friend of mine from school. But isn't that cheating of some form? Isn't it, that it at is. least it emotional is cheating? It is, John. I was ready to call it quits. I was ready to wash my hands with the whole situation. I was ready for a divorce. He finds out that I kissed this guy and he wants to be hu husband of the world, you know? He wouldn't wanted to be a perfect husband. When did you find out you were pregnant with Hunter? I found out two weeks before we got back together. And once you found out you were pregnant, you all reconciled? Yes, yes You decided yes, to reconcile, Mr. Cleveland? Yes, Your Honor. And why is that? Did you reconcile because you believed Hunter was your biological child? Yes, Your Honor. And oh! I, I talked to her belly every day, you know. I, 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 went, I went to work, you know. I sung to him while he was in her, in, in her belly. I played him music. You know, I talked to him. I, I went to work to provide things for him, you know, his crib, you know, to get everything set up before he came along. So how did it go wrong and get to the point where you didn't believe this child was your child? A month after he was born, she informed me that he could possibly not your be Your Honor, mine. that is not true. Yes, you are it not, is. That is not true. I told him the first month I was pregnant that it could be him or his friend. Now, now... Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on, don't just gloss over that. You told him a month... What did you say? I was a month pregnant and I told him it could be his child but it could also be his friends because me and his friend had a sexual relationship. No, she didn't, Your Honor. Otherwise, I would not have stuck around through that pregnancy if I knew there wait was a minute. He told So, me wait. One. You had sex with your husband's friend? He was my friend uh, initially before I knew they were friends. But yes, they were <clears> friends <throat> also. You wow. basically informed him that the father of this child could either be you, my husband, or your friend. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Cleveland, you disagree. Yes, Your Honor. What is your testimony? It was a month after he was born that I found out that he, there was a possibility he wouldn't have been mine. Did you go to the birth? Yes, ma'am. I was there right after he came out. I was there beside him while they were cleaning him off, you know, all bloody and everything. 
I, you know, I was the first person to hold him. I was the first person to get to take him to his mother. I mean, it was a very joyous time in my life. I didn't leave his side for two, almost three hours. I mean, I stayed And at right that there moment, you thought you had a beautiful baby boy. It was yours. Yes, Your Honor. And it wasn't until a month after that you say it was revealed to you that your friend could also be the father. Yes, Your Honor. How did she tell you this? <laughs> um, we were sitting at the house playing with Hunter and it just kind of came out. She looked at me and she said, Adam, there's something I have to tell you. And I said, what is it? And she said, I slept with one of your friends around the time of conception and there's a chance that he's not yours. Really? I want you to know that and I think we may need no. to get a paternity test done to see if he's yours or not. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Okay, so let me just ask you the obvious question. How do you end up sleeping with his friend? Um, his friend was giving me a different lifestyle. He was cleaning my lifestyle up. Um, I was involved in church every Sunday. I wasn't out running the streets like I was with my husband at the time. I was doing something with myself and it made me You were productive. going to church every Sunday and you end up sleeping with your husband's friend? No. <laughs> no, Your Honor. <laughs> no, Your Honor. I mean... She liked that he had money, Your Honor. I, Your Honor, I was, that's not I was true. at a down and out point in my life, and I was in a financial Honor, that's crisis. Not true. And he, she liked the fact that he had more money. He, he did. didn't even have a he, job, Your Honor. I don't know what they were so spending the money Ms. on. So, Miss Cleveland, but... what was it about this relationship that attracted you? Because you had unprotected sex with this person. Yes, yes. And that's why you had to admit to Mr. Cleveland, your husband, that this child may not be your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. I, um... Was it just one time or were you all in a full relationship? Um, no, it was just once. It was just a one-time thing. I felt horrible about it. My heart was with my husband. I love him with all my heart. And I knew that it was wrong for me to be having sexual relationships with him when I didn't even care for him in that manner. So... So if you didn't care for him like that to begin with, why, why would you go to him? If you had a... If your heart was with me... For the me, lifestyle. Why? For the lifestyle he was giving me. Maybe if you'd have stuck with me and been a little more loyal, I wouldn't have been so down and, and out. And I realized that, and that's somewhere. why I came back. I yeah, realized that. You hurt me when you left, and you don't realize how much you hurt me when you left. You're supposed to stay loyal when somebody's down and out like that, not run off on them. That's how I met you. You had not tried. I've been through too many cheating relationships, Your Honor. I don't know. I'm through with it. I'm, I'm fed up with it. I feel like I'm living a lie. And so, at some point, even after all of this... You all got back together. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor, we did. He married me a month before my son was born. Well, so at that point, I mean, you all look happy. We were. We were, Your Honor. We really. And when you see that picture, Miss Cleveland, it makes you. It hurts feel... me inside. Because that's not at all how we are anymore. It's not. It hurts me too, Your Honor. <laughs> so we're looking for. I, I don't know. We we need to get some answers. We need to get to the bottom of this. Our past wasn't left in our past when we got married, Your Honor, and that's where I think we messed up. Yes. So that's why, Mr. Cleveland, you're requesting a lie detector test. Yes, sure. In Honor. addition to the paternity result. There's no trust. You all do not trust one another. We don't. And the beautiful people we see in these photos, <laughs> this beautiful family we're looking at, you just said, Miss Cleveland, it's all a lie. It's all a lie. That's all an act. That's all an act. That's not real. That's not how we feel about each other. And the fact that it hurts both of you that much to admit that it is a lie. Yes. I mean, she just admitted she kissed another guy. I did. How did you end up kissing another guy um, when you're married? What, what happened? Adam and I continuously fight every day, in and out, from the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep. And he was at work. I had gotten a message from this guy that I'd been friends with since seventh grade, talking about how beautiful I was, just saying all the right things to me, just made me feel wonderful about myself. And I made the mistake of going to see him. And when we were sitting there talking, it just happened. We kissed. And I, I felt horrible about it. I felt like a gross person inside. I got in my car and I left. 
<clears throat> and I, I, I walked around with that burden that I had kissed another man being married. And I told him a week later that, you know, I had messed up and I needed his forgiveness because I c couldn't continue living like that. You didn't tell me a week later, Your Honor. I told you I'd been in cheating relationships before. I got that gut feeling like I had had before. And I waited till she went to sleep that night and I went through her phone and I found messages. I, I can't wait to see you. You have handsome lips. So, uh, you know, just all those. And you're seeing this, you're reading this in her phone. With my own two eyes. And I woke her up immediately and asked her what the heck was going on. I mean, I, I wanted to wait, but I was so wrapped up with emotion at the time, I wanted to answer it right then. This was my family, but, you know, since then, they're, they're, she's told me, you know, there's a possibility he's not, and we've been waiting for the chance to see if he's mine or not, and I, I really need to know. Good. And, and that's really exactly why we're here. If he's not mine, and if the lie detector test proves that she is lying, I'm afraid this marriage is going to be over. I, I can't continue to do this. I really can't. Ms. Cleveland? Yes, Your Honor. The stakes are high here today. It hurts. It hurts a lot. You but... came into court believing that your husband was 100%, 100% the father of this beautiful little boy. Yes, sure. Do you still believe that? Yes, sure. In this moment? I do. He you is do. the father of my son. And... That's all there is to it. She believes it with everything in her, but I'm a good dad and I know it. I'm a, I'm a great father. I was raised by a great father and I was taught how to be a great dad. And she sees that in me. And I think that's, that's part of her motivation to hold on to this is that she knows that he will have a good father. I think it's time to get the lie detector results and then we will get the paternity result. Okay. Ron, I'm ready for the envelope. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Cleveland, you met with a licensed polygraph expert. Yes, Your Honor. Before I read these lie detector results, what do you believe we will find out today? The truth. You were asked if you had sexual intercourse with the man you admitted to kissing recently. You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Are you okay, Mr. Cleveland? That makes me I feel a little you. better. I told you. <laughs> Mrs. Cleveland, you were asked, since you have been married, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone besides your husband? You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. <laughs> Good news, Mr. Cleveland? Yes. That, that makes me feel a little, better, a little better about the situation. It does. I, here I have been thinking this whole time she's, you know, been lying to me. I can't trust her to go out with her friends because I don't know that she's telling me the truth and... It makes me feel better to find that. It makes me believe that I can trust her again. And maybe we can go somewhere with this. Good. But we do need to make clear that we still have the paternity results. Ron. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Cleveland versus Cleveland, when it comes to 17-month-old Hunter Cleveland, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Cleveland. Yes, sir. You. Are not the father. thought so. I really thought so. I mean, I, I can, I just, I see it. I mean, I, I, I strongly looked at a lot of pictures and made myself want to believe that he was mine, but I just knew he wasn't. I'm so sorry. It's okay.
Miss Cleveland? <laughs> yes, ma'am. You had told him that it possibly could be someone else's biological child. Yes, ma'am. Does this other person know? Yes, Your Honor. He does know. And he wants nothing to do with them. That's right. He wants <laughs> nothing to do with his child. Which is one reason that I have literally stayed through this because I know in my heart, honestly, I've wanted to leave before now, but I couldn't pull myself away from it because I knew that this is what I needed a father. So that's and the I, only reason you're staying with me? No, it's not just because of that. It's, I love you and I, I want this marriage to work. I, I'm glad to find out the truth. You have to understand, Mr. Cleveland, and I've done this for a long time now. She's not angry at you. She's angry at herself. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Reed, you are demanding that Ms. Austin have a paternity test administered on her child, whom she claims was fathered by your estranged husband. Yes, Your Honor. You, you're hoping the DNA test will prove that your husband is not her baby's father. Additionally, you are suing his mistress, Miss Austin, in the amount of $5,000 for alienation of affections. You argue that her affair has left you struggling financially as well. Correct, Your Honor. Ms. Austin, you say you are here today to defend your reputation and prove that Mr. Wallace is the father yes. of your child. You argue that you do not owe Ms. Reed anything and she needs to move on with her life and pay her own bills. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Reed, how did you find out about Ms. Austin? Okay, Your Honor, I found out about Mrs. Austin. One day I came in from the hospital from having my second child um, and Rangel's phone rang and I just so happened to answer the phone. And the, Mrs. Austin, she said, I'm Rangel's Girlfriend, I said, Ranielle's girlfriend, did you know that Ranielle was engaged to me or whatever and just had a baby? She said, no. I packed my things and I left with my two kids at the time <laughs> and I went and stayed at my aunt's house. Ranielle called my aunt's house several times trying to apologize for what he has done. Later on, I accepted Ranielle's apology. So, later on down the line, Ranielle again, I walked in, sees him on the phone, with Mrs. Austin again. He tells me he's trying to break up with her. The phone call was like three to two hours long. It doesn't take someone two or three hours to break up with someone. Okay. But I forgave him again, knowing it was wrong. And got back in a relationship with him. You took him back again? Yes. You then married him? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, Ms. Austin, how did you get involved with a married man? We hear it may have started before the marriage and continued. When I met Ryan, they was not married. He nor told me that they was engaged, neither. I found out on Facebook that Ryan and Mrs. Reed was married. When she posted a picture up there of their marriage life, that's when I found out. And yes, I did confront Ryan about the marriage, but at the same token, Ryan would never came to me if she, Dominique was Miss Reed was taking care of home, right? So what you're saying actually is that you didn't have any regret or remorse about it because you felt like if she was handling her business, he wouldn't be over talking to you. Right. Your Honor, that means that she didn't mind playing the role as his little mistress. Because any woman wouldn't sit there and be in a relationship with a man that has a woman. Like, as me as myself, I have respect and I don't want to be no one's mistress. So, Ms. Austin, what's your response to that? Well, he led me on. When they was married, Ryan was calling, he was texting me, telling me how he wants to get away from Dominique. The reason why he said he was with her is because of her money. That's what he said. Your Honor, like, he was staying, telling her that he needed money to get away from me, but the money that she was sending, Ryan, he was taking me out with her money, or he like, if my kids, my, my child or whatever, needed pampers or milk, he'll take that money and go buy them the things that they needed. So now, Ms. Austin, you claim that Mr. Wallace is the father of your child. Yes. Your Honor, how is he the um, father of her child when there was another man involved? My ex-boyfriend and ones who she go with down. I don't know if they go together. Oh, but... wait now. Say that again. 
Yes, the man that's the other person who they say that is the, my daughter Muriel's father is her man, then my ex, who that she is dating now. Your Honor, I can explain that situation. Your Honor, oh, please do. I did that out of revenge. At the time, Ryel was cheating on me with her. So I noticed that Demiriel was messaging a boy up on Facebook telling him how she missed him. So how about I get revenge on Ryel and talk to her boyfriend? Yes, I did it to hurt Ryel and I did it to hurt her. And so Ryel can see it's not okay to cheat on someone and misuse them and tell them you love them and that's not what you do to someone you love. You don't cheat on them and you don't misuse them. Period. That's what I did it for. Well, all right. Well, I think we need to see who these women are fighting over. Uh, Jerome, <laughs> I want to meet Mr. Wallace. Can you please uh, escort can. him into the courtroom? Sure. How you doing? Mr. Wallace, let me ask you. You married to Ms. Reed. Yes. But you were sleeping with Ms. Austin. Yes. You had a baby with Ms. Reed. Three, Yana. Three. Correct. You might have a baby with Ms. Austin. Uh, allegedly. You busy. <laughs> you just standing there, Mr. Wallace, like you don't have a piece of remorse in the world. Now, you don't? No, ma'am. You don't have any issues with cheating on your wife? No, she's not a victim. She's not? No. Oh, fill us in. First off, she wasn't a good wife. She don't, she rarely cooks, she doesn't clean. Oh. Correction. I cheated because I was bored in my marriage. Oh. I, well, I was too young to get married in the first place. I so only why did, did you get married? Because I felt like it was the right thing to do because I was being pressured and I had three kids with her. So I, Correction, Your Honor. If you was precious to be in a relationship with me, why did you constantly come home to me? Why did you constantly, every time I got out of work, was there, and you could have left and went home to your mother, your sister, or whoever the case may be? Your so Honor, she says you kept coming back to her, Mr. Wallace, over and over again, That's and she precious. said that you were spending Miss Austin's money that she was sending to you, you to on to her. her. Correct. And yes. <laughs> Everybody's laughing, but the scary thing is. There's children involved. I, I mean, you are people's parents. Mr. Wallace, you admit to being intimate with Ms. Austin. Correct. So do you believe her child is your child? No, ma'am. Why is that? Because she has. Don't you say no, boy. She looks just like you. She, she looks just she like, like you. The other she guy. got everything. She, everything or you want, she got on that. Everything. She looked like the other guy who is currently Thank her you. boyfriend. I had sex with Ryel first, and I used unprotected sex with Ryel, and I used protected sex with the other boy, but... Your Honor, she's lying. The boy told me that he had unprotected sex with Demiru several times because he do not like to use protection. So let me just ask off the fly, who baby do you want it to be? Your husband? No, Your Honor. Or your boyfriend? I rather <laughs> for... <laughs> to be your husband? No, Your Honor. Or your boyfriend? I'd rather for the husband. Fill me in on that. Your Honor, I'd rather for it to be his because I feel like ever since Rayo had other kids on my kids, my kids get the short end of the stick. They rarely see their dad. Like, when I take them to see him, I have to, like, leave them with him in order for them to spend time with their father. So I feel like before, before her child even got in the picture, Rayel was there for my kids for whatever. Like, watched them, gave them whatever. But now that Mrs. Austin's child is in the picture, my kids have to suffer, and I feel that it's not right. You're emotional now. What, what is it because you're feeling? The whole situation is just wrong. I was there for Ryel for whatever, and he still went out and cheated on me with Mrs. Austin, and it was wrong. You feel like it was her fault that he went out? I feel like it was his fault, too, because, like, she didn't know what was going on, like she said. Ryel was sitting up lying to her. So I can't really blame her. But uh, then again, I can't because she knew all about me and still slept with my husband. She still was in a relationship with my husband. 
not her fault we're not together. It's your fault. And you're right, it's my fault because I left you. That's why we're not together. Because I left you and went out and talked to someone else. That's why we're not together. So then again, it's your fault why we're not together. So we're going to get the results of this paternity test shortly, but I have another witness. Jerome, there is another witness I'd like to hear from yeah, in this matter. Have a seat right up here by me. Thank you. State your name for the court, please, ma'am. Can't join Robert. Thank you so much. Now, what brings you to court today? What would you like to add? I also have a family old child by Mr. Wallace that he claims he's not the father of. You also have a five-month-old child. Mm-hmm that you say was fathered by Mr. Wallace, but he's denying that child as well. Yes. Hold on one second. Just one second. We're going to get down to the bottom of this, but first, I need to deal with the people in front of me. You have a suit where you are suing Ms. Austin for alienation of affection. Correct, Your Honor. For the amount of $5,000. Correct, Your Honor. But what we found out today through testimony and confirmation is that Mr. Wallace actually went after Ms. Austin. Correct. Now, in order for you to sue for alienation of affection, you have to prove that this woman, young woman, planned to destroy your marriage. I don't see that. It was his free will that started this affair. Are we clear? Yes, Your Honor. So, for this reason, my judgment is for the defendant. Now it's time to go to the results. Jerome, you have the envelope? I certainly do. You? Yeah. As per these results prepared by DNA Diagnostics, in the case of Reed versus Austin, when it comes to baby Demuriel, Mr. Wallace, you are her father. I told you, dummy. She looks just like you, dummy. Everything, dummy. You sitting there saying that, but you wishing on strings. Sorry. No, not, yes. not really. Yes. No, no. Yes, you are hoping no. on strings. No. Yes, because no. you said right here. You no, I don't have to stop up. talking. I wasn't so, opening our streets because mine was already the. Oh, you talking to her? Oh, oh. you. No, no you're not. You're not talking to me because mine's already been in. Let's get some order. You all have three children together. Now we know you, Mr. Wallace, have another one. And maybe one sitting right here with this young lady. The fact that when you got this result, both of you two ladies start going at it, and Mr. Wallace just standing there looking like he ain't got nothing to do with it when he got everything to do with everything in here is very interesting to me. See, I get this situation. It's a lot of immaturity here. There are children here that need you all to grow up. <laughs> right now. You've made your choices. You all have chosen to bring children into this world. Now you need to live up to it. I want you all to get it together. Now, for you two, Ms. Roberts, Mr. Wallace, I am going to send you to DNA Diagnostics today because I want to get down to the bottom of whether or not you, Mr. Wallace, are in fact her child's father. That would give you two five-month-old children. Court is adjourned. I will see you back in this courtroom with the DNA results. Ms. Roberts, you are here requesting a paternity test to prove to the defendant, Mr. Wallace, that he is the father of your five-month-old son, Danielle. You have asked the court to administer a lie detector test to prove he's still trying to be with you. Mr. Wallace. You say that if the results come back negative, you would like her to stay away from you and your current girlfriend, Ms. Austin. Ms. Reed. Now, you are here once again to find out if your husband, Mr. Wallace, is the father of yet another child. Yes, Your Honor. Woo! <laughs> Ms. Roberts, 
please tell the court how you met the <laughs> defendant and ended up in this situation. I met him around my auntie's house. He was walking down the street. I started to flirt with him. You know, he looked good to me or whatever. So I started to flirt with him. Yeah. <laughs> so I started All flirting. Right. But he did not tell me, you know, he was in a relationship or none of that. It's just... He didn't tell you he was married no. to Ms. Reed? He did not tell me he was married. Miss Austin told me that he was married. Oh, wait. What did you know about his relationship with Miss Austin? Um, one, uh, one day, she supposed to have snuck into his phone and sent us texting or whatever, so she called me. Okay. So when she called me, I'm like, hello. She ha said, hello. Did he tell you he had a girlfriend that we was in a relationship? Mr. Wallace, um, ask for Miss Roberts. When you met her, did you tell her you were married? Well, I forgot. Forgot? <laughs> <laughs> How could you forget about a marriage? Oh, because he ain't wear a ring, so he ain't care You that forgot much. you were married or forgot to tell her? It just slipped my mind. <laughs> Let me remind you that you have two women that may each have a five-month-old child by you. Matter of fact, one we've established previously, she does. So now there may be another. Did you forget that? No, ma'am, but I don't believe that child is mine. Why? The baby don't have any of my features. You said that about the last one, I remember. Dummy, <laughs> goofy, great. <laughs> the child looked like the rest of her kids, and I believe the same guy who is the father of her four other kids is the father of that baby. She's 22, she has five kids. I She's sure do. Wow. I sure do. And you got four, and what you do for him? Oops. Your yeah, Honor. Can I speak? Yes, Miss Reed. What I want to know from you right now is how did you figure out that there were two women pregnant by your husband? Okay, I found out about Demiriel because she was calling around your phone and Facebooking him. Miss Wallace. Yes. Okay, Miss Austin. Austin. Correction. I found out about. <laughs> Sorry, y'all trying to confuse me. Sorry, <laughs> Miss Austin. Right. I found okay. out to be Miss Wallace. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Soon to be Miss Wallace. Oh my God! Correction. Oh my God. Right, yeah, told oh me God. that he wasn't marrying anyone else. Sorry, so she I'm sorry that he's playing so right now. Call me. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wallace, you know what? This is a sad state of affairs to see three beautiful young women act a fool over you. Yeah.